Seth. What is this? What, Mom? Who are you what? texting? Is there something you should be telling me? It's nothing, Mom. We're just kidding around. Anyways, it's none of your business. That is my phone. You mean my phone because I paid the bill. Uh. Are you homosexual? No. For one, it's Chris Ta I'm texting Mom. And the guy we were talking about, he's nothing more than just a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. Sounds like more than just a friend, Seth. Did you forget what we talked about? Uh-huh. And furthermore, what is your father going to say? I have enough on my plate without having to worry about your perceived sexual identity crisis. It's not a crisis, except when you and Dad make it one. You're not going to tell Dad, though, are you? Well, Seth, your dad is eventually going to find out when you bring one of your, um, friends home. That is, if and when he is ever home at the same time as the rest of us. Maybe if you weren't so caught up in your own problems and started acting more like a mother to me, then we could have talked about this a long time ago. Really? Really, Seth? Well, let me tell you a thing or two about the world. If your dad was the husband he was supposed to be, and you were the son I had wanted, I would have been the best goddamn mother and wife this world has ever seen. But the world is filled with what ifs, wherefores, and whatever. You disappoint me. Whatever, Mom. So, Krista, why are you in my office again? Because you gave me a B minus when I clearly deserve an A. Yeah, I know. Okay, look, you know I'm a hard grader, and the last time you were in my class was what? English 1? Yes, and I got all A's in that class. Right. That was about your writing ability, but this is English 2. It's a different skill set. It's about focus and critical thinking. You understand? Not really. Okay, okay, look, this grade, it doesn't reflect your writing ability. Technically, it's very good writing. It's much better than the last time you were in my class. Then what is it? Well, this was an exercise in introspection. It wasn't meant to showcase your penchant for wit. It was meant to be a reflection of your inner voice, of your true self. Okay. Okay, listen to this part. Happiness resides deep within each person. Our flesh and our blood protects that happiness, but also serves to ensnare it. Love unbridles happiness, allowing it to be shared. You're a beautiful writer. Then what's missing? You. You're missing. Okay, look, you talk about love and happiness in very general terms, but I really wanted to hear about you, but I think you missed the point. I see. The point was to talk about my happiness, my capacity to love. Right. You talk about love and happiness like you're an outsider, but do you feel happiness? Do you feel love? Your words are really guarded. It's like there's something that you want to say to me, but you're too afraid to say. Listen, it's getting kind of late. 
Maybe we should discuss this on Monday. For the world, for different Professor Belmont. Look, Krista, I want to, but... Krista, wait. Hello, can we keep a secret? Sorry I'm late. My office is getting painted and I needed to make sure they didn't give me pink walls. Ooh. Yeah. Pink would drive me crazy. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. So I've been thinking about you a lot. Um, you've been noticeably absent. We haven't even texted in a while. Is everything okay? Oh, let's see. Where do I start? Well, the beginning's good. Okay. Seth is gay. Oh. Oh, yeah. We had a huge fight. And I said some horrible things to him. Really mean, horrible things. Mm. And uh, I don't think he's going to forgive me this time. How do you feel about Seth being gay? I don't know. Disappointed, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've had my suspicions for a while. And um, I've tried to bear him off in another direction using all my psychological tactics. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no. did that backfire. Oh, dear. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. Yeah. Mm. Or uh, maybe it's Robert's fault. You know, he's so involved with his work that he has no time for Seth, or me for that matter. Well, you and I both know from our college psychology classes that a child's sexual orientation has nothing to do, nothing to do with the parents, right? Remember what Professor uh, Luby said, uh, if it did, only gay parents would raise gay, gay kids. kids. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, how does Seth's choice of a life partner change your relationship? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I know. You're right, mm -hmm. but um, I'm worried about Seth, you know? Mm -hmm. Lately, he's been very withdrawn and um, seemingly really fragile. You know, I, I just want what's best for him, you know? Sure. And uh, I don't want him to get hurt, either physically or emotionally. And Robert, well, Robert's been no help at all. As mm -hmm. I said, he's been very distant, unavailable and apathetic. Mm. <sighs> to top it all off, I just heard that my job is on the chopping block. Oh no. Yeah, crappy. But I feel like my life is on this merry-go-round and I'm gonna go round and round and round and I don't know how to slow it down, how to stop it or where to get off. You know, my whole life all I've been doing is, is catering to everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I have nothing left for me. I can see how you feel that way. If I may make a suggestion, that would be maybe what you need to do is go away for a couple days. You know, just give yourself some Lori time. I mean, Robert and Seth will be just fine by themselves. Just give yourself permission to go away for a day or two and just heal. Wow, what a foreign concept. Taking time just for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Janine, you know, sometimes it just takes someone else to point out the obvious. And that's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> so, enough talking about me. 
How's it been going with you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, three o'clock is three o'clock. When have you ever known me to be late? Uh, all right. Uh, you too. All right. See you then. Hey, Teresa. Set this guy up with one of these. All right. Hey, thank you. Uh, Lamont. Robert. Well, um, thank you for the beer, Robert. Welcome. Hey, you know, you can call me superstitious, but my mom told me it's bad luck to toast with someone unless you get an eye contact. All right, there you go. Let me guess, beer number three, four? Something. It's only hour number one. All right, uh, how about we slow down a bit then? You know, have a conversation. That way you can make it to hour number three. So, uh, what's up, bro? Tell me about yourself. All right. I'm not from around here. Uh -huh. Usually come to this bar to, uh, to escape. Yeah. I wear a lot of hats. By day, I'm an English instructor. Mm. But uh, by night, father, ha uh, husband, <laughs> and most nights, I'm an unhappy one. <laughs> if you ask me, Rob, the unwritten rule of marriage is unhappiness. That's why I'm divorced, huh? <laughs> I can test to that. You know, doesn't it get lonely? No. Nah, well, well, you know, sometimes. But I just made my second date this week. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I envy you. You're unfettered. Well, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, divorce isn't all rosy. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm free. And, yeah, what's the alimony, the two kids? You know, I see my son more than I do my daughter. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her in a long time. I'm sorry to hear that, Lamar. Yeah, I hope you can get in touch with her again. You know, my son, <clears throat> his stepson, He's a handful. My wife and I think he might be gay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind so much, but my wife, that harpy man, she gets so angry about it. She won't even go into his room. She says it's too colorful. <laughs> well, look, I don't know too much about that lifestyle, but I've always believed, you know, people have the right to be who they want. So, what about you? You say you wear all these hats. What hat do you want to wear? 
Well, yeah, for me, it's not so much who I want to be, but who I want to be with. <laughs> now, now, Rob, you know you just ended that yeah, sentence in a preposition, right? <laughs> It's just a hat that I want to wear. Yeah. It just doesn't fit me. Wow. You know what? Uh, that's kind of deep, bro. Look, I don't know what you're searching for, but I hope you find it. I, I just don't think you're going to find it at the bottom of these bottles. You, know, you got to go out there and make it happen. Can we cheers to that? Hold on, son. Where you going? I'm going to school. I got a meeting at school. Going to school. Uh, um, son, are you sure there's nothing you need to talk to me about? Alright, Dad. You got me. I was with this Arabian girl. Just one time, though. That was it. What? You know, the one that's at the gas station? She always gives you the free coffee. Uh, okay, wait a minute. So you're telling me that you're... Go yeah. <laughs> hey. White girls are starting to like brothers, too, now, Dad. All right. Okay, look, me and you have been working real hard on our trust with each other, right? Yeah. And I want you to know you can talk to me about anything. But you gotta be honest, son. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. Is there anything that you need to tell me? Because I see you every Thursday walking around here getting all pimped out and whatnot. No, and I <laughs> pimped out? No, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like that. We're just friends, nothing serious. All right, I'm gonna trust you. All right, I'm going to school. Don't come back here late. Hello. My brother think he's slick. All right. So everybody remembers we've got an assignment due this Friday. That's introspection number two. And today I just want you to work on your group assignment number five. Where is everybody today? The weather's nice. Are they at the beach? We should be at the beach. Yeah, okay, well, all right. Everybody just go ahead and start your assignment.
What I miss? Uh, we're just finishing up the assignment we started yesterday. What's up with you being late all week? I'm surprised Belmont hasn't marked you off points or at least talked your ear off. He probably doesn't even care. You're talking about the same man that tried to drown me from his class for being absent once. Maybe my mm -hmm. secret student-teacher affair has something to do with it. You wish. Seriously, though, what's, what's been going on with you? Uh, I'm struggling with wanting to be with someone who I want to be with, but I know it would be frowned upon if the word was to get out about us. It's complicated. Let's not talk about me. How's your search for Mr. Wright? You found him yet? Nope. <laughs> I mean, I met some guys, but no one worth throwing a parade over. I want that relationship that's deeper than the weekly parties or, did you stay with so-and-so with swearing? <laughs> Someone I can have a real conversation with? I want what any person wants. My sexuality doesn't make my desires any different. I want someone to grow old with, someone who I could build something substantial with, you know? But yeah, it's just... What? I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You and Seth, you're perfect for him. Wait, who's Seth? My friend, my hot single friend. Wait, what are you doing? I'm texting him. You gotta meet him. Whoa, well, slow down before you go all matchmaking on me. Can you at least give me more info on this Seth guy? Oh, not right now. Professor Belmont's looking at us. Look, Seth is having a hard time with his family. His mom is not so accepting of him being gay and needs someone to talk to. Please do this for me. Dan is coming. to work. Sorry. Jeremy. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Thanks for meeting me here. My office still smells like paint. Oh, okay. So no problem. I appreciate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I understand maintenance is maintenance. Yeah. So how you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I found out what keeps my dad and I, you know, close. It's our sense of humor, but mm -hmm. I think in uh, us being closer, he thinks he can talk to me about anything, uh, specifically women. Uh. So. You mentioned that in an earlier session. Why don't we talk about that? Okay. Um, I don't think he understands that I like exotic women. Okay. What do you mean by exotic? Uh, I don't. I don't know. How should I say this? Um, like Swedish, Turkish um, women. Uh, I haven't been with an Australian yet. Okay. So, uh, what is it about exotic women you find so appealing, and why so many? I don't know. I mean, I think it's their accents. I really like their accents, and they're just so beautiful. Um, it's like an Oreo cookie, you know? You can't just stop at one. You gotta have more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I just don't want to get married. You no know? one's telling you to get married. I, I, I mean, when I'm at home and all that arguing, you know, before the divorce, you know? When I'm in a relationship and it goes bad, I just I just usually have to leave. Uh, it's just too much work. Jeremy, maybe you're putting the cart before the horse. I mean, maybe you should spend time thinking about how to trust somebody first, and then before you think about breaking up with them. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just need to, you know, reflect and take some time to myself. You know? Yeah, that's a good idea. 
uh, take a day and go somewhere and don't think about exotic women or relationships or divorces or Oreos. And just see what, see how you feel at the end of the day. Okay, yeah, because school got me uh, very busy, very yeah. busy. Yeah, you mentioned last week that you were changing your major and you were concerned about how your dad might feel about that. Yeah, I, I wanted to do engineer for, you know, mechanic and whatnot. Hey, Krista. Chris. How you doing? Chris. Seth. I'll leave you two guys alone. So, Seth, right? Yeah. You must be Chris? Yeah. I see we share a mutual friend, Krista. She actually told me that you are going through some pretty crappy stuff. I guess. Think my mom pretty much hates me. Her and I went at it this afternoon. Seriously, I think she'd rather have me dead than have a faggot for a son. Okay, to be honest, it just sounds like she has some of her own issues that she needs to deal with. And you know, with everything going on with yourself, the way you're feeling, just make sure you don't do anything stupid, alright? Because that'd be a waste of one attractive person. Hey. She wouldn't even notice I was gone. I mean, she... I Don't get me wrong, Chris, but I barely even know you. I know. I know. But I'd like to get to know you. If, if that's okay with you. Seth, it's okay. I'm here for you. I don't want you to have to go back home feeling the way you do. No one deserves to feel like that. I want to. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know, Chris. All I'm asking is that you trust me, alright? You need somebody on your side, and that's why I'm here. You're way too fragile. And being in that kind of state is dangerous, believe me. I've been down that road. Don't get me wrong. I want to, okay? But it's wrong. Your mom said so. Wrong. So developing relationships with others or feeling a genuine love for another person is wrong? I don't know. It just sounds like she thinks being gay is a choice or something. I really wish I knew what her problem was. It's going to be nothing but awkward. It's just crap at home now. I don't want to go back. Seriously, it's tearing me apart, Chris. I don't want to go back home. Seth, if you need someone to talk to or vent to, I'm here for you, okay? Just know that. I promise I'm here for you. Come on, I have an idea. Wait, Chris. What's up? Thanks. No problem. Come on. What about this guy? Uh, she already had
forgot my cell phone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you tell me what time it is? Uh, yeah. Um, it's three o'clock. Thank you. Jeremy! Hey! How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm alright. What, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I come here on my days off, just a little fresh air. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I was gonna go get a drink of water. Um, let me talk to you. Uh, oh, okay. So, I don't know. Am I supposed to know when I'm done with this counseling sort of thing? Is there like a step or something I have to do or what? Well, in my experience, when someone says, how much longer do I need to be counseled, it usually means that they're done being counseled. Oh, okay. So, uh, what we can do is Maybe have an exit session. Okay. And I can make sure you've got, you know, some strategies for dealing with stuff that comes up. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, I, I think I'm. I think I'm basically done with the process. Good. So. Feel good. Good. I'm glad, Jeremy. That's good. Appreciate you. Thank yeah. you. So I have my day planner with me. If you want to just set up an exit session, um, I don't charge clients for that. If you want to set it up today? It work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's some menus over here. I'll just I'll wait for you. Hey, Ron. Ron. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. Now, now, what are the odds that I'd run into you way out here? Yeah, it's kind of slim. Yeah. Well, how you been? Thanks. Yeah, yeah man. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm doing good. Yeah, good. You know, I usually just come out here to sort of clear my mind sometimes, you know? Yeah. I can see why, man. It's a beautiful place out here, brother. You know, this girl that I'm talking to, she kind of told me about this place. Said it was like one of her getaway spots back in the day. I can see why. It's beautiful. And in fact, she's on her way out here to come oh, see me, man. Cool. I'd like to introduce you to... What, what does she mean? Yeah, yes, that's her right here. Oh, hey, look, Rob, stay put, man. I'd like to introduce you. Like oh, I said, okay. I think she might have a friend that she can introduce you to. Mm. Robert. Krista, oh my God. Glad to see you. You know, I've been thinking a lot about you. Dad? What? Dad? Baby girl, what are you doing out hey, here? Hey, Lamont! Lori? Lamont! Hey! Hey, 
You, you know him? Robert. What are you doing with my wife? Your wife? Well, oh, hold on, hold on, look. Okay, look, we'll deal with that later. How do you know my daughter? He's just my teacher. Yeah. Just your teacher? Well, hold on, look. Teachers don't hug their students like that. Uh, and they damn sure don't meet each other in some private place like this. Yeah, yeah. What a surprise to see you out and about, Robert. So is this what you do with your free time now? You take up with girls half your age? I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm look, look sure I don't have the patience don't. right now for this. I really don't. Why are you hugging your teacher like that? Look, it's just a misunderstanding. Just a misunderstanding, your teacher. Look, man, look, I'm not no fool. It's due in two weeks. But that two weeks, you know, two weeks goes by fast now. Whoa, 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 what's going on over there? Oh, shit, that's my mom. And Krista's dad? Elmer? One thing you're gonna have to do is explain to me why you got my daughter all out here like this. Wait, 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 that's a different Hold on, you know, we can talk about all this later, all right? Look, either you're going to tell me the truth because I'm your father, or either I'm going to get it out of you. What's going on between you and my daughter, man? There's nothing. Don't tell me there's nothing going on. I'm not nobody's fool up in here. What? I'm just a little young man. You might want to tell your teacher to keep stop roping people. I'm just a little young man. Voice. Yes. Calm your voice. You're a motherfucker. I ain't coming oh. down nothing. Oh. That's my daughter, man. Yeah, now, brother, look, brother, brother, look. You got that brother, brother, brother. Lord. Yeah, she's an adult. Yeah, no, you're not. Oh, you're yeah. Yeah. Brother, you about to get something right in your story. This left foot. You better get down there. Say, hug You hug, hug him right now, man. Because you're lying. And I've had a lot of people that have been in way worse shape than me, so nothing to worry about. Do you, hear, do you hear yelling? Uh, some people yelling, bit. I think. I think that's my dad. It sounds like him. Huh. That is my dad. Oh. Hold on, hold on. That is my daughter, man. Don't come here. She's my daughter. Yes! Oh, yeah. Yes! She's my daughter. We heard you from all the way over there. What's going on? I'm talking to your sister right now. You know what? In fact, you have a whole lot of explaining to do yourself. You, you think you slick, huh? Hanging out with your cougar. Dad, it's not like that. She's just my counselor. You, get out of the way. Look, I've already told you I don't have a whole lot of patience. So you better start talking. Let's see how your job That's my friend Lori, and that's her family, but who are the other people? Okay, that's my dad. That's my older sister. That guy was my teacher last year, like fifth period. And then I think one of them is gay. One of those guys. Hmm. Okay. I can give you a session every Tuesday in June. How's that? I think that will work for him, but what about okay. everybody else? It's going to be a long summer.